Last year, lightning strikes killed 429 people in India and over 4,000 people across the world. Proper lightning protection would have prevented many of these deaths. But a lightning protection system cannot work without a lightning arrestor. Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video, we will learn about the working principle of the ESC lightning arrestor. By the end of this video, you will have a clear picture of the science behind lightning strikes, the need for an ESC lightning arrestor, and how this lightning arrestor even works. Let's start by understanding lightning strikes. I'm sure all of you have seen a flash of lightning, but how can it really harm you? There are mainly two ways in which lightning can hit a body. They are either direct or indirect lightning strikes. A direct lightning strike is when a bolt of lightning hits a living body or an object directly without hitting anything else first. This type of strike is fatal because all of the lightning's energy goes right into whatever it hits. In an indirect lightning strike, the lightning strike occurs on a conducting medium such as an electrical wire, telephone lines near the victim. And a portion of the current jumps from the conducting medium to the victim. The energy transfer to the victim in an indirect lightning strike can vary significantly. As a result, the victim can get as little as a slight irritation, but it can also be fatal. Therefore, we need to protect ourselves from both direct and indirect lightning strikes. So, how do we protect ourselves from such disasters? This is where lightning protection systems and lightning arresters come into the picture. To protect your personnel, your buildings, and your electrical systems, these arresters are installed on the top of structures. A lightning arrestor is the primary part of a lightning protection system. It protects you by directing lightning energy to the ground through a low resistance path. There are mainly two types of lightning arresters in use. One is the conventional lightning arrestor and secondly, the ESC lightning arresters. We have explained the differences between these two in detail. You can watch the video right here. The link is in the description. Now, let's focus on the ESC lightning arrestor. Also known as the early streamer emission lightning arrestor, this technology offers safety from direct lightning strikes. Before we dive into how this product works, make sure you're up to date with the latest lightning arrestor installation techniques, the various applications of these kinds of products, and the latest updates in the electrical industry. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter. You'll find the link in the comments. Now, let's look at how these products work. Let's start by understanding the meaning of early streamer emission. Early, this word means sooner than usual. Here, it refers to the device's ability to react quickly during lightning. Streamer. A streamer is a thin channel of ionized air that reaches upward from the ground or a structure towards a cloud. It's like an invisible path that the lightning follows. Emission. This means sending out or releasing. Here, it refers to the device releasing electrical energy or creating an electric field. Put together, an early streamer emission lightning arrestor creates an upward path for lightning earlier than surrounding objects, aiming to protect you from direct lightning strikes. Now, let's understand the working principle. The emission from this arrestor is generated by storing energy from the ambient electromagnetic field at the time of lightning events. Let me make it simple for you. The ESC device has this tip called an air terminal. In normal conditions, this air terminal is inactive. When a charged cloud approaches, it creates a strong electric field in the area. This ESC device detects this change in the electric field and sends high voltage pulses from its tip. These pulses turn the air around the tip into ionized air, which conducts electricity better than normal air. This ionized air creates a path that aims to guide any lightning strike safely to the ground through the ESC device. One crucial aspect of the ESC device is the coverage area of protection. This is the area within which the arrestor can protect you and your structure from lightning strikes. As you can see in this figure, the coverage area is the part that comes under the semicircle. 
This semicircle is calculated with the help of this table, which is made using this formula. I have explained both the table and the formula for calculating the coverage area in detail. You can find the link to that video here and also in the comment section. One question we often get is, how many times has lightning struck my building? This information is crucial for maintenance. To help you with the exact number, we have a product called the lightning strike counter. They track how many times your arrestor has been struck by lightning. We have a separate video explaining these counters in detail. The link for that is right here and also in the description. I hope you now have a clear understanding of ESC lightning arresters. Please remember that calculations and designs for lightning protection systems should only be carried out by a competent and authorized engineer. At Axis, we have a team of over 50 engineers ready to assist you with designing, installing and testing your lightning protection systems. Our arresters are trusted and installed in a variety of settings around the world, including substations, data centers, factory, and everyday commercial and residential buildings. Before you move on to the next video, you probably want to know how to correctly install an ESC lightning arrestor. You can learn this by simply watching the video right here.